Good morning. Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody is doing well. All right. So welcome to episode 44 of Soul Transformation Sunday. If you're watching from Patreon, good morning. If you watch from YouTube, hello, good morning. Well, good afternoon. It'll be afternoon for you by the time you see it. Uh, but I hope everybody's been doing well. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get into the message. We're not going to waste any time. Just a quick um, reminder soul transformation Sunday is a you message it's a personal it's a message for self okay is what we need to incorporate into our week next week it not only lets you know what's going on next week but it's what you need to incorporate into the next week so that you get what you need you know in order to be in alignment and you're open to receive when things start coming your way okay um, the full extended message will close on Patreon, which is where Soul Transformation Sunday was birthed, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get into the message and see what Spirit has, okay? I'm actually excited for the message today. Um, well, I'm excited for it every Sunday, but <laughs> um, I'm excited to see what comes out, okay? So let's see. But it is a transformation message. It's for transformation <laughs> I mean I don't I don't know what else to say okay so let me let's just get get the message Holy Spirit Holy Angels ancestor spirit guys those from the highest white light who walk on me every day these messages are for the collective what do we have for the collective soul transformation Sunday messages for the week ahead what do we have soul transformation Sunday messages for the collective What's going on in the week ahead, Spirit? What should we be aware of? All right, so you got shine and elevate. I like it. All right, shine says, don't dim your light. The world needs your, you, you, blah, 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 blah. okay. Don't dim your light. The world needs your unique talents and gifts. Shine brightly. Pace yourself, okay? I talk fast. I can't help it. I can help it, but yeah. Anyway, elevate. It says you get what you believe you deserve. It's time to raise your standards. Ooh, so some of you are lowballing yourself. On this card right here, I love it because it's like a little, a little thermometer, like with the heart, the heart's going up like small to big. And then up here, like when it gets up here, the biggest one that says self-worth. So I love that about this card. But anyway, I feel like I think that's the, the card we got last week. Change. Yeah, we did. A resistance to change is the resistance to life itself. So some of you may be feeling something tugging on you or pulling on you like it's something that you need to do. So keep that in mind. We'll get into it and see. Shine. Elevate. Okay. I like it. Archangel Michael, please protect me as I channel the messages for the collective block any interference that stops their messages from coming through. Please and thank you. What do we have for the weak head spirit for the collective? Patience. I love it. Service. Okay. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Okay, service says, uh, I feel good when I can help others. So something definitely has something to do with what you can contribute, okay? Um, how you can contribute. So this would be something along the lines of your purpose. What way will, do you serve? What way do you serve? The question is, do you serve? Uh, purpose like higher than just means of making money, okay? Do you serve? And, you know... Um, what purpose do you truly serve? Yeah. Okay. I feel good when I can help others. No, peaceful resolution. So 
I feel like something has something to do with. I mean, somebody, some of some people could be getting turned down for something next week. Okay, like I said, that if the, the, I feel like something is for you if you are finding your purpose, if there's a reason higher than yourself, and it split it to start in the in the div card. Look, with the fool is what I could see the fool right here. I can see the dev card. Okay. And then you got the star card. So something has something to do with the transformation. If something hasn't changed, I feel like something could be um, the answer is no. This is going to be an interesting message. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So, all right. Well, something deals with divine timing. <laughs> um, and a no. Ooh. Hey. All right. Well, let's see. Very interesting. Why did the collective get these messages for the week ahead, spirit? If you need a personal reading, the email address is in my description box. Okay, let's see. The lovers. Okay. Tell us more. The lovers is usually a spiritual connection. Okay, it could be a sexual connection just depending on what comes out with it. We do have the king of wands here. So somebody could just be, you know, something could have something to do with, with the three of cups at the bottom of the, of the deck. Somebody could be promiscuous. They could like the party. Or that's just where they're at with it. That's why they, they still haven't changed. Uh, so we'll see. Somebody could have Gemini highly aspected. I try not to bring the signs into it so much. But if they going to... I feel like this going to be a spell it out to a message. So... But let's just see how it goes, okay? It feels different. I feel like somebody it took some kind of action here. And maybe celebrated too soon. Yeah, Ace of Swords. Mm -hmm. Three of Wands, Ace of Swords. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, this could be someone, you know, whoever this is, whoever has taken this kind of action, this could be someone or they took some kind of action. Maybe they even put you in a third party situation for some of you or something deals with someone who just, like I said, they like to party. They like to have a good time. And they don't see anything of seriousness at all. Or they just don't see anything. When it comes down to seeing something like for real, for real, like that's blatantly obvious or true or, you know, or something like that, they don't see it. Now, whoever this is, something could have something to do with someone who's just, you know, maybe they feeling themselves a lot. You know, their ego is like on a trillion right now. And they just, you know, they, it's something about it. Now, something could have something to do with someone who, in, in who they're connected with, but you're going to have to take this message, how it resonates, because I know they finna get it in four, four cups here. Okay. You got the magician here. Okay. I just heard play it themselves. So, okay. Okay. Uh, very interesting. Somebody could be sneaking and watching you. Yeah. Tell us more. What's going on? Something is obvious though in this next week. It, it's there's some kind of clarity here. Wow. Whoa. Hot diggity dog. <laughs> the Queen of Wands is fell right underneath the King of Wands with the lovers out here. Uh oh. You got the Five of Cups. No way. I guess, look, like this is no, like no way. Okay. Let's see. Like, I don't know what's up with the third party though. I just feel like somebody wanted to, somebody really wanted to ruin something before it even got started here. Mm, but let's, so with this elevate is giving me something along the lines of ascension. Wow, Ace of Cups underneath the Ace of Swords. Somebody turned down. Somebody here blew off, turned down, rejected their twin. 
You know, your twin could be platonic or romantic. It just depends, okay? It just depends. Something was along the lines of someone's mission. Yeah, I knew they were finna go in. Somebody, some of you would have to have, you had something to do. You were supposed to birth this, this, it was a project that you guys were supposed to do or a kid you guys were supposed to have. I mean, but you do have free will. So, yikes. OMG. So, something is all about someone, for, for some people, there's something here where some of you are breaking up in this next week. You're breaking up or some people are. They're breaking up. They're turning their back on someone or they're just looking in a new direction. Setting their sights on something else. They're going to love themselves. And, you know, it's something dealing with confidence. And, some, you know, somebody just, they feel like something is either not their match for some people. They feel like something, someone isn't their match. Or they just simply aren't. And that's what it is. It's, it's something out here where somebody is either ignoring someone. They don't give them any attention. Like whoever this is, it, and if you lack attention from someone, that's not your person. I, I just feel like somebody is just, you know, something may just have been a sexual connection for some people. But somebody's feelings are hurt here or did get hurt in whatever this is. Or getting hurt. I mean, this could be past, present, future. Take it how it resonates. I feel like some of you could be turning somebody down in this next week. Yeah. You got the Ten of Wands. And this would be like somebody where their time has expired for them to... I don't know. Whatever. You got the Ten of Wands on all of this over here. You got the Ten of Wands sitting on the Lovers, the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Four of Cups. Look, Six of Cups. So, a lot of blockages. Or just a blockage between two people who are meant to connect or somebody could have placed it there themselves. You got the Page of Wands. Okay, so somebody could have a kid here. You got the Five of Wands. I'm oh, sorry, Five of Pentacles with the Five... You got the five of pentacles with the king of pentacles here. There could be somebody. So whoever this person is, somebody could send you a message incoming. Somebody's going to send you a message. Yeah, I feel like for some people, For some people, this is just somebody's history. This is what you and someone else have went through. Like, this is uh, like a lot of people telling you no. Um, y you and this person, you're mirroring someone right now. And I mean, y'all like really matching each other's fly. But I feel like the both of you have been neglected shot down like hey would you like this that people like no uh-uh no uh-uh no uh-uh and all of that with y'all baby <laughs> and there's some um, it's something here going on here okay Ooh, work looks good work looks good next week I just be mindful of haters. You got the page of cups here, eight of pentacles, six of wands, and then right behind that, you got the nine of wands. For some people, this is what it was in the past. I feel like somebody is going to see you, whoever this new person is, the same way this old person who wanted, who was, I don't know, feeling themselves and wanted to go in another direction due to the hand, you know, a third party's influence or whatever the case. It's what they wanted to do, though. Whatever it is, it's consented. Um, but the same way that that person could have seen you, had they look, just looked and kind of put down the, the hormones for a minute, they could have seen you, too. But this person is going to see you. Somebody is going to see you. They see you. Mm -hmm, in this next week. Now, something could just be for a work thing. Take it how it resonates. Like I said, work looks good. 
I don't know where everybody is with the love part. If you are wanting love to come in, you know, or the heartbreak, heartache, whatever, after so many rejections and all of that, just keep in mind rejection is your protection. Because, I mean, who knows? You know what I'm saying? I feel like these, there's no telling. Okay. So, yeah. But let's see. You got the King of Cups here with the Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. High Priestess. Somebody is somebody is spiritually gifted too. Whoever this is that some of you are going to be working with, it looks like they are coming to bring you an offer. Somebody is. Somebody is. They're going to make. That's what's happening. Okay. Somebody is going to make you an offer. Yeah. Give you a call. I feel like somebody could now see. I feel like somebody could now like something is going on with somebody's heart. I mean, like their heart chakra, their emotions. Yeah. Yeah. By what they see or what's going on, like what happened, like with the third party. Um, that's all I'm really getting because I feel like something has something to do with someone missing out because they were either A, underneath the skin of somebody else's body, uh, B, you know, something can have something to do with lots of messages and things like that. That either somebody didn't receive, they didn't read. They just did. They just tossed aside or they just. I just feel like somebody is like, I feel like this is the type of energy right here is like when you buy a new product that you've never owned before and it comes with like an instruction packet inside the box but you like kind of just trash the box with the instructions inside of it and then you're sitting there for the entire like the entire time that you own the product not either working it properly or you wish you had the instructions back that's this feeling it's kind of like somebody kind of tossed something that they felt they wouldn't need but they need it Wow. Oh, well, it says, don't dim your light. The world needs your unique talents and gifts shine brightly. So somebody could have just, the way they see you, they don't see you now. You get what you believe you deserve. It's time to raise your standards. So somebody hanging out, they gave the third party the yes. I feel like the outside of two people matched better. Than the internal. So this would be like somebody who likes to hunt like a rabbit. And they were with somebody who likes to hunt like a rabbit too. Like it's just. But that's it. That's the whole thing of the relationship. It's a sex based relationship. And they've never like. It's either they never healed from some kind of like hurt. From when they were a child. Right here with the page of, sword, page of wands and the three of swords. They never healed some kind of hurt in their heart. Yeah. And this could be anybody. Masculine, feminine, don't matter. Just because just it's a king of cups on the card. It just, you know, somebody's just in their feelings. They're in their emotions. They're definitely, you know, they're feeling love now. Now they, some people see they need to love themselves more. Now the clarity that somebody has is I... Had I loved myself more, I definitely wouldn't be. Because I feel like over here with this Queen of, Queen of Wands and this King of Wands, whatever was, I'm t this is unhealed energy. Okay? Like I said, these are people who bury themselves with extracurricular bedroom activities. 
you know, that's the only way that they mirror each other. Like, these could be karmic twins, these two people, the people who are just Mr. and Mrs. Hump a lot. Like, yeah, I just feel like nothing else matters. Like, I just, I, th this is the energy that these two share. It, it, it's right here. Th this is the energy that this, this, these people share. Wherever it was a third party situation with you. Like wherever it was that you came into play at, I don't know what this service card. Maybe you done business with one of these people, or they, or they did business with you. Maybe you wanted to. Maybe you reached out to, and they said no. Who knows? Yeah, but somebody feelings hurt, so they could be getting told no and ignored. Somebody is. <laughs> I don't know who. I guess we'll find out uh, because this is it's going to be a short reading. Um, let's get one of these before we go to because I just feel like it's super short. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Somebody. I feel like somebody either overstepped. They jumped the gun. Like I said, back to the somebody didn't have any patience. They didn't give something any time at all. Like. And something, somebody is ascension, elevate was on the line. Like I said, this was last week's message. Go watch that one. <laughs> a resistance to change is a resistance to life itself. Open your heart and mind to new beginnings. Somebody didn't give something time at all. They, It's like, no, I know how to work this. This seems to be easy to work. I got it. But they threw the instructions away and now they having a YouTube something where they had the booklet for it, you know, or something like that. Just take it how it resonates. I feel good when I can help others. So this is either somebody who doesn't know their purpose, they don't serve any purpose, or the person that they're in a connection with does not. Okay? So, no. And peaceful resolution. Uh, behind that is let go. So... Take it how it resonates. Something is just a lot of build up. I don't know what that. I don't know. We definitely gonna figure it out. Something has something to do with paternity. The number three or 33 could be significant. We already have 33 out here. We got adversity right here. Uh, the number 33. It's either it, deal, it deals with the child or something has something to do with who you share children with. All right, let's get a couple of these before we go to Patreon. Very short message. I just feel like in this next week, there's some kind of clarity. And it it's emotional. And I feel like there's somebody that's bored. All they, Somebody could be not want to do something anymore. They could be like, no, I kind of not feeling it. The number seven could be significant. You got root chakra direction so <laughs> where somebody is going like their destiny their purpose like somebody is like not on their path whatsoever or whoever some some of you are with somebody's with someone who's not on their path or they just don't <laughs> i don't know what else to say here like there's three people out here. Two of them don't match. So for some people, that's what it is. Like, they could have matched on a more temptation. Like, on a, they match more so on this level. You see what I'm saying? But they don't match, like, for real. There's only one true divine connection out here. That somebody's either playing interference or something like that. Or they did. I mean, take it how it resonates. That's it could be past, present, or future. 
mountains, 17, the number eight. So the number eight, 88, you got eight right here, eight right here. And the number seven is here. Okay. The number 17, the number 26 could be significant. I don't know what else to say, baby. And then we're going to go. <laughs> Yeah, I just feel like somebody was confused. At the bottom of this deck is the Seven of Cups. Like I said, something does have something to do with paternity. I, I just... I don't know what to say. Anyway... So you can, some of you can expect the message next week. Some people, like I said, are breaking up. Look at this intuition. Okay. And then true love. Okay. They just didn't use it. Somebody didn't, they didn't use it. Like, so I don't know what the, you know, something has something to do with the missing piece here. Maybe for some of you. You are somebody's missing piece. And it looks like they could be coming in. Like something. They feel some kind of way about you. They, I said they feel some kind of way about you. Now they may find you attractive or something like that. But something deeper than that. Okay. Um, it says you already know the answer you seek. True love. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. Yeah. Yeah, I just feel like there's a breakup here. Somebody is breaking apart from somebody or, or, or they did. I feel like there's somebody here for some of you, a person that told you no, realize that they're in a pointless, going nowhere connection or they did after the fact that you were gone. It was just somebody who was willing to slob the knob or... I hate to be that way, but they would from any from the top to the bottom to the in between as much as somebody desires just to be connected to them. Like that's it. And somebody over here in their feelings. I this is so just make sure. Uh, I don't even have no advice for this <laughs> for the for the uh, YouTube portion. I don't because something has something to do with somebody's basic needs, necessities with the root chakra being here. Um, somebody is, could really not have nothing like somebody could literally like somebody could have literally got their space in somebody's life from having sex with them before they really know knew them. And had they knew them, they would have told them no. Had they knew exactly all the burdens and all, uh, and that they were going to be left behind or that they were going to be ignored or that the person just wanted sex or they didn't have, they weren't really serving a real purpose or in life, not for real, for real. Yeah. I feel good when I can help others. And direction, yeah. So something has something to do with somebody's soul purpose. Some of you are getting someone to come in. Let's talk about this newness. That's what we're going to talk about over there. Because y'all are shining. Y'all are ascending. And I just feel like that no is for whoever passed you up. They're being told no. Or somebody's ignoring them. They person ain't interested in them for real. They either not texting back, not calling, not it's something like that. Somebody wants to go, but I feel like somebody else d does want to go in a new direction. Some of you may be telling your exes no next week. Maybe they want to send you a message and hey collective, do you want to such and such? And you like no, like I'm gonna just sit over here and keep healing and keep shining. You gonna do what you want to do originally while we're not together you know so i mean that's pretty much it i feel like i feel like something whatever if something does end i do feel like it's peaceful but i just feel like two people may just be splitting up splitting apart because 
you know, they may look good on each other's arm or something like that. Maybe, maybe not. Because like I said, it is three people out here. This is going to be interesting. But anyway, I'm going to leave it here. We really only have we only have one major, which is the lover's card out here. Some of you are about to meet your true love or they're at least seeing you or you're at least seeing them in this next week. And like I said, some people are breaking up, breaking apart. So somebody can heal. Somebody has a side person though. It looks like this feminine, this feminine energy has two masculines. Now it could be, you know, it doesn't have to be a feminine Emmy, but I'm just saying this, it, it just looks like it's something like that. I feel like something is being confirmed next week that this feminine energy has two masculines or something deals with another masculine. It could just be any masculine, any third party interference. I feel like somebody picked up on something. I feel like somebody picked up on something like they had a nudge and then they had it confirmed. Yeah. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there for this portion. Um, if we see you on Patreon, we'll see you over there. If not, we'll see you the next time we uh, upload on YouTube. Um, I pray y'all have a great rest of the day and a great week. Okay. Um, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye.